Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Richard Kuo. I received a question from my friend Tina Nguyen and she asked, how do we truly get to know someone? I wanna break this down into three, three tips and also uh, provide a bonus one at the end as well. Tip number one is to skip the small talk. And I say skip the small talk because uh, it's easy enough to do the small talk already. And I'm not saying don't do small talk, don't do like, hey, how's your day? Did you watch this movie? The main point of this is focus on having those those conversations that really matter to you. How do we dive deep? I think this is about being real, being like, hey, um, so I noticed that you know, you're know you a little bit shy and I just want to talk about it. I was just genuinely curious. That's when you have the opportunity to have these real conversations. Tip number two is to be vulnerable. I think all of us have these insecurities or taboo topics that we don't want to talk about. Uh, I know for myself, I've had some, uh, there's certain topics in my life that I've just never ever talked about with uh, my close friends, family, anyone uh, for that matter. And things like sex, like we just never talk about that. Because it was such an awkward topic and I never talked about it until I was older, it just became this like, well, okay, not gonna talk about it. If we would truly want to get to know people, I think sometimes we have to uh, have that courage and just start saying, hey, um, just out of curiosity, I know we never talk about this, we never talk about sex, or we never talk about uh, depression or whatever, but I just wanna talk about this with you. And tip number three is to have a genuine concern for someone. I think when we show other people, not just say, but when we show people that we truly care about them, that we truly want to learn more about them, that's when they'll start opening up. I think there's always a way uh, to get people to open up, to, to share those those really deep, dark secrets and have those real conversations with people. Sometimes it takes time and sometimes it just takes building that relationship with the other person. For myself, I've had the, the privilege of uh, going deep with a lot of my friends, a lot of people that I've met in my life and uh, people have eventually started opening up to me and sharing these things that they have pretty much never shared with anyone else. The greatest part about knowing these, like I guess kind of little secrets about them that they don't share about anyone else is that uh, it makes them so human, it makes them so real, and I, I absolutely love that. And number four, this bonus tip, uh, this one especially applies to people who are shy, they're closed off. Uh, I think the best way you can really, truly get to know who they are is to let go of those judgments. Uh, sometimes people have things and they're afraid to let other people know because they feel like they're gonna get rejected. So if if you truly love them, if you wanna be vulnerable with them, if you want to dive deep and really understand who they are, um, it's all about creating that space and being like, hey, um, you know, here, here are my faults too. I'm not a perfect human being. Uh, pretty much be authentic about not judging them and be like, hey, I'm just, I just really want to know you and get to know who you are. So just a quick recap on how to truly get to know someone. Number one is to skip the small talk and go straight into the deeper, real conversations. Number two is be vulnerable be open, be that imperfect, awesome human being that you are, and don't act like you know everything, just, just be yourself. Number three is to genuinely care about the other person and, and show it, and just be real about it. And number four, the bonus one, is to uh, let go of that judgment. I hope these were helpful tips for you in truly getting to know someone else. Uh, Tina, again, thank you so much for answering this question. If you, anyone else out there, have any questions you'd like to answer, drop them down in the comment section below or feel free to email me, post them on any of my other social media sites, all right? Thank you so much for watching this week. Just a quick reminder for you, remember to always accept yourself and keep working on creating that life that you love, all right? Love you all, take care, see you next week. Peace.